I'm Tessa Smith with MamasGeeky.com. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. Hey, Tessa. I, I thought this movie was so much fun. Like, I love a good action movie, and that is exactly what this is, pretty much right from the beginning, um, which surprised me because it feels like that's maybe not where it's going to go with a name like The Princess. So can you tell me just what drew you to this project? I think your reaction is is exactly how it drew me is uh, this elements of surprise and this like turning everything on its head and saying, hey, wait, what? And so I, I attribute it to the same reaction I had with the Matrix and, you know, the Trinity when Trinity kicked that guy, you know, across the room. And so I just like that feeling. I couldn't shake that out for, for years to come. And so I wanted the opening to be the same kind of panache and um, to achieve that um, was was just so much fun, and, uh, and I'm, I'm I'm glad it turned out the way it is. Yeah, there's I mean there's so much action in this, and um, I think during the during the press conference, Joey was saying it was like you know four pages of the entire script weren't action, which is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe yeah. it. You know, can you yeah. just talk about like all of the preparation that had to go into all this stunt work? Uh, it it was. It's, it was intense be, because the, the sure number and the technicalities to it, but but also, you know, to the credit of, of everybody in the team, they, they needed the reason why we're doing a fight scene. And I think that's where, when we came in and to develop the script and to make it a film that had to be made is we went back to the character. Like we needed to like her. We needed to have more character in the story um, the fights were there, but we left it aside for a moment and we just wanted to know who she is and why she's there and, and where all the drama beats had to be. And actually that, that made the fights better and it made it less boring or just going into the room and slash and, uh, you know, slash away and then move to the next. So we, we went back to the heart and, you know, it, it came out to be a better genre movie. Yeah. So Joey is, I mean, she's amazing in this. And I know she was attached to the movie before it got into your hands. Uh, but can you just talk about working with her and what she brought to the table? Yeah, it's just right at the beginning. Her commitment to make this work was amazing. She she was coming from another movie. And the next morning, she wanted to be in the gym right away to prepare for this film. Yeah, she was just like, no, I'm not taking, I'm just, I'm just going to get to the gym. Tell me what to do and tell me what we're going to do. And she kept the training going and going. And then by the time uh, she was uh, on set, she wanted to do everything. And she was excited about it and you know, coming to work every day saying, you know, I want to do this I'm, I'm, and let's just do it. Um, dramatically, she impressed me all the time. She just nails it. Um, so she's the whole deal. And we got lucky. Yeah. And then Veronica is amazing, too. And the two of them together are even more amazing. So, and then you got Dominic Cooper in here, who's also amazing. Like, can you just talk about the cast as a whole? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're, we're very lucky because, uh, you know, I wanted Veronica, I did, obviously, I didn't know, it was hit by surprise, she was hit by surprise for this movie too. She was like, what are you doing, a princess movie? Uh, and I had to get her on her, she's the heart of the story, right? Because the princess is not supposed to be doing what she's doing. She's supposed to be taught by this mentor that, you know, is, is her inspiration. And Veronica is just perfect for it. You know, she's of the age where she's a mentor and uh, she was coming from Fury with me. She has all this experience. She she works with new actors all the time in an action field. And um, she just brought along all of these things that uh, we did in Fury. And um, yeah, it was just, it was just so much fun doing this film with Dominic, such a well-trained actor, well um, versed in drama and to the point where he, he, he tried things, he, he knew the nuance of it. And it, it was a joy working with him because you're working with an actor that, that, you know, stage driven and, and, uh, presence. Yeah. Yeah. He's so good. I was like, the first time he popped up, I was like, wait, is that Dominic Cooper? And then like, I just got so excited because he's yeah. so good in this. He's so great. Yeah. He's, he's a different light, but a light that, I think everybody's going to feel refreshed because he's not that he's not, he's the preacher, but then he's also that guy, you know, that hunk. Okay. Yes, exactly. <laughs> no, you're exactly right. Uh, so now did you film this? This must've been during COVID times, right? Yes. So did that add a whole lot of like, how does that work when you've got all these stunts going on? It, it was challenging. I have to admit, because we were 
like you said, it's, it's a gym culture. It was a gym environment. So it was just sweaty. It was everybody had to do all of these stunt work. And, and but surprisingly, it, it brought a lot of focus because people needed to do their thing with a certain amount of time and they needed to, to disperse, you know, kind of stay away and, and stay the distance. And so it made people feel the importance of time. And I just saw a lot more focus and, and, and a lot more uh, productivity, in my opinion. Awesome. Now, one of my favorite things about the princess is that she like doesn't have a name. You never, there's never a name. And I was, I even a few times went back and I'm like, wait, right. like, did I miss it? Did they not say her name? Was there ever um, any thought to giving her a name or what was that, that thought process? Like? We, we discussed about it. We, we did. We, but we, we felt that she, at the end of the movie, she worked so hard to be this iconic inspiration to even to young women and young girls that we didn't want people to go anywhere else. We wanted people to stay with it. The, everything that she's worked hard for, this persona that she's created, it, it's for everyone. It's not for the, you know, the Jane or the, 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 uh, Mura or the Meridia or I, you know it, it it'll take people to places where we felt that it it shouldn't and emotionally I, I felt it, it better because she became an everyday person yes no that I think you're exactly right and that's what makes her so relatable is you're not like sticking a name to her um yes. and then and then going off of that like what do you hope that people take away from um this movie I know you already said she's kind of an inspiration to young women but what do you mm -hmm. hope they take away as a whole from the film I think my best hope is for people to have great time, but also by the end, just to take the feeling of if you bet on yourself, if you trust yourself enough, uh, in the end, you'll be all right. Awesome. I love that. And then last question before we wrap, uh, I know you talked a little bit about your favorite scene earlier in the press conference, but do you mm -hmm. have a scene that was like the most challenging to get right? It was the forest scene when she's in training with Veronica, uh, with Lynn. Uh, it, we, because we wanted to, it to be beautiful because we were outside, we wanted it to be a uh, big scope and, but going for beauty is tougher than I thought <laughs> because I, we overextended our, um, stunt team because, or not even a stunt, it was our, our actors, our main actors had to do it all, but in multiple takes, they didn't have any breaks because the camera was wide and we would be seeing their faces. And so uh, we required them for, to do it, the whole thing. And the fight was long. It was outside. It was hot. But I didn't hear any complaints from anybody. They just did it. And it was, it, it, they will tell you that's one of the hardest things that they did. But um, but everybody just loves that scene because it was just the endearment that, that needed to exist. I was going to say that scene is, you pulled it off. So good job. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you again for taking the time to talk with me today. I appreciate it. Thank you very it. much. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much to all my monetary supporters, my members, and my Patreons. Love you guys.